Good evening, everyone. Today we are going to be going over the internet's most unpopular opinions, and we're going to see if old Joey here agrees with them or disagrees with them. Showering at night is better than showering in the morning. Showering in the morning, I think, is better, but showering in the dark is better than both of them. If you take a shower with the lights off, dude, I'm telling you, or you have like one little bit of light, like you have like a little night light or something in your fucking uh, in your bathroom, it's like you're in like a like a porno scene or something. I don't know. <laughs> You guys have terrible taste in porn. Sorting by most popular proves it. What the hell is this? 4K blondes with huge plastic breasts having cliche American porn sex with Chad? What's erotically even remotely interesting about that? It's the porn equivalent of listening to Nickelback. All right, a couple things. One, I can't stand for the Nickelback slander. I just can't. They're, oh, they're good. They're not the best. They're good though. Also, I agree. I mean, the 4K blondes with huge plastic breasts having sex with another, you know, 4K blonde plastic dude, you know, is with a huge hog is probably not the coolest thing in the world. I don't like that kind of porn, so I can't even relate to that. Like, I like the porn that's like, this was like, we found a phone on the street and like, we went through the videos and someone's got a blowjob video in here. I don't like, you know, I don't like it to feel like cinematic, you know, that there's a lighting guy and there's a guy with a fucking, a microphone trying to get all those squirting sounds or something. I'm like, I don't, you know, that's weird to me. I'd rather this all happen in like an alleyway or like a taxi. Being too cold is way better than being too warm. I think I like being too cold. I need to sleep in the cold. Ideally, I'd be sleeping in like a igloo if I could. Like a, just an ice room would be nice because then you can get fucking all cuddled up. I'm like a baby, dude. When I get into a, if it's a freezing cold room and I get under the blankets and I'm like, oh, and I start kicking my feet and I get really excited like a dog. But when it's too hot, oh, bro, I can't, I can't sleep. I can't focus. I've been in like hotel rooms that the shit, like in Miami, that the fucking AC didn't work or something and it's too hot in there and I literally have to take a cold shower in order to just make it through the night. When I'm old and unable to care for myself, I wanna be taken care of by professionals, not burden my children who will have their own families to care for. I agree, like why is there this, you know, negative connotation of putting your parents in a home? Think about that. Like, it's like going back to college with a bunch of people your age. Like you get a room, there's people across the halls, everyone's getting STDs and shit. There's like bingo night. And like, you know, you get, it's fucking dope. Like, how is that not cool? I don't want to sit with you and your shit kids. Also, when you're in a home, people come see you. How dope is that? I don't have to go anywhere. This is fire. Also, let's be honest here. We're all going to get to a certain age where we're just going to start shitting our pants. And do I want my kid to clean my shitty cock and bar? No, I don't. I don't. I'd rather a professional who there's a chance they could be hot. There's a chance of that. I'd rather that. I'd rather that than have my son or daughter be cleaning my shitty ass. Restaurants that have pictures of their dishes on the menu are awesome and should be totally normalized. I love this. I think it should be required. Not for nothing, but like, bro, we're not chefs. I don't work in this industry. You're putting a bunch of words that I literally have to sit there and Google like, what the fuck is cheetada? Like, I don't fucking know. Is there spinach in this? Is there whatever? It's just got a weird name. Put a picture, let me see the fucking thing, and then I can go, that looks good. My husband believes running pizza underwater to cool it down is acceptable. Kill your husband. Or make it look like he killed himself. That's even better because then you're out of the woods. Dude, literally, if you're okay with eating like a pizza that has water all over it, like a soaking wet pizza, like just eat whatever's in the garbage can then. We're not, I'm not making dinner tonight, eat what's in the garbage. That's what I would tell him. Telling a guy to just be confident as dating advice is like telling a depressed person to just cheer up. <laughs> That's really true. In the past, I've like told one of my friends like, yeah, I'm just like anxious, like I'm having like a panic attack. And he's like, bro, just chill. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, th that's the goal, bro. I can't chill, that's what I'm talking about. It's an attack of panic. I'm not, I'm under attack. I'm not doing it myself, I'm under attack. Telling a depressed person to cheer up. Yeah, it's like, what do you have to be sad about? And it's like, I don't know, that's the issue. I'm depressed and I have no idea what's going on, but I'd like to go inside and cry. It's my birthday, I'd like to be home in my bed, crying into the pillow. Making fun of men who lose their hair because of male pattern baldness is body shaming. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> like, also the shit with the height, where it's like, oh, any dude who's under six foot is like a bitch. If anything, making fun of men who are losing their hair is a little more fucked up because some of the time the weight is in your control so if you're being body shamed because you're overweight there is something you could do about that but you can't just start 
putting your hair back in your head. So it is a little fucking different. It's all body shaming. It's all bad. We shouldn't do it. But, you know, sometimes people cut you off in traffic and you're like, you fat, bald fuck. Having a picture of yourself as a background is weird. Who's doing that? Like people's phones? Is there pic a picture of them? That's, that's weird. Like, what, what are we doing here? The only appropriate backgrounds for your phone should be a picture of your spouse, your dog, your children, or like a mountain. And that's pretty much it. You don't have a picture of yourself. Like, that's insane. What if someone sees that? Like, you're like, oh, what time is it? And you pick it up, it's a selfie? Fuck you if you record yourself giving things to homeless people. I don't think that everyone who records himself giving shit to homeless people is a piece of shit. I think most of them are, though and then they're doing it for the wrong reasons. And they're like, this is gonna make a lot of money for me, like at some point, cause it's gonna go viral on the internet. Like that, the intention is fucked up if that's your intention. If you just wanna do a nice thing and you're recording it because you're like, this could help inspire people or bring awareness to an issue or something like that. It's all about the intention. So I'm, I will say fuck you to some people who record themselves. Like dudes are like, yo, I'm gonna go out there and give a cheeseburger to a homeless guy. And it's like, all right, cool. Like, the fuck? Why are we recording this? Like, you're not saving the world by doing that. Other people do really nice things for people who are in need. Big, gigantic things, and they record those. And that's nice. It's nice to see. It's nice to know the world isn't completely going to shit. Kids under the age of 12 shouldn't have access to the internet. Y yeah, I mean, I think eventually this is gonna be a rule. I was 11 years old and able to somehow find on the internet porn and people getting their heads cut off. Like that shouldn't happen. Uh, and this is all happening, by the way, while my father is kicking me out of the room anytime there's a tit on TV or any cleavage, really. He's like, all right, get out of the room. Right? And I don't know if it's because he didn't want me to see it or if he just wanted it for himself. But for whatever reason, he would kick me out of the room. But now we just have unlimited access to everything. Like children can go on the internet and watch whatever they want. I don't know about that. Cranberry sauce is bitter, unnecessary on Thanksgiving. I would rather eat a turkey's shit than eat that cranberry sauce. Especially when it comes out of the can and it's just the shape of a can and it's just on the table. Like, what is this? This is the laziest side dish of Thanksgiving. Stuffing, even like corn, you gotta like do something to. This, you literally open the can, you slide it out. It's disgusting. Who's just eating cranberry sauce? American weddings are an expensive vanity party and a terrible tradition. Uh, yeah, it is. But why does that say American? Is there something going on in Europe <laughs> that I don't fucking know about? Like, are European weddings, like, not expensive? Like, you don't pay $10,000 for, for flowers and $80 million for a photographer? And we want to serve chicken tenders at this wedding. It's like, great, that's going to be $23,000. Is that not, is that an American tradition? It's like, hey, congratulations on getting married. Let's put you in debt. That's how you start a family, okay? And that's why we have so much divorce, because it's like, have a happy party, let's get more debt here on top of your student loans. There's no way this marriage lasts. Eventually the money's gonna be an issue. That's the American way, baby. All right, before we continue with this video, we do have a sponsor for today and that is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a really fun fantasy game that you could play every single weekend or honestly during the week too with any sport you can possibly think of. I love playing with football and basketball because those are the two sports that I think I know the best, um, but you could play it with anything. They have it for F1, they have it for college basketball, uh, WNBA, Pretty much everything you could think of, they have it. And it's a lot of fun because you could win up to 25 times your money if you hit your entry. And entries just take up to a minute, honestly. It's very quick. Uh, it's easy to understand. You're not battling against other players or uh, other, you know, sharks or people who are professionals. It's just uh, you're battling against the prize picks projection. Um, so you have to figure out if the player is going to have more or less than the projection. For, so, for instance, LeBron James, is he going to have more or less than 22 and a half points um or travis kelsey is he gonna have more or less than six and a half receptions something like that um and then you pick a couple players you put in your lineup and you can win up to 25 times your money just like that but it's a lot of fun and like i said it's very easy easy to understand and not only that the best part about this is that you can go to pricepicks.com slash santagato and use the code santagato for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars um, what that means is if you put in $100, they're going to put $100, and now you have $200 to play this game with. Go to pricepicks.com slash Santagato and use that code Santagato for a first deposit match up to $100, and good luck. Being an adult can't start at age 18 and 21. Make everything either completely 21 or 18. I, I don't know. <laughs> like It's hard for me to like even... I, I think it's weird that there is two ages where you could like start doing something, and then you have to wait till 21 to like drink or whatever the fuck. 
like that is weird to me. I just don't know which of those ages is correct. I try to think back to when I was 18 and I'm like, what an idiot, you know? But I can also drink responsibly. I didn't do anything crazy. And also they got kids drinking wine when they're like fucking seven in Italy. I think in Montreal, you could be like 16 and go out to the club. That is fucking nuts to me. <laughs> like that's weird. But yeah, maybe there should be just one age for these things. Like, I, you know, there's always that famous thing. People are like, yo, you, you gotta be 21 to drink, but you can go to war and fight for your country and die for your country when you're 18. I think to make it fair, if you're 18 and you're in the military, do whatever the fuck you want. Then you get fucked up. Chihuahuas are a disgusting breed of dog. I don't even acknowledge them as dogs, to be honest with you. <laughs> like I look at chihuahuas and I'm like, that's a mouse. Like that's a, just a, like a more developed mouse. The only reason why chihuahuas are even on the map is because of Taco Bell, dude. They put them in the commercials <laughs> years ago and then Paris Hilton bought one and that was the end of that. Everyone started buying these chihuahuas. But like, they're just a weird, shaky dog with big eyes. And I don't really like it. I like my dogs to be fluffy. They are shaky, bro. It's a shaky dog. You ever see a chihuahua? It looks like it's freezing all the time. It's just fucking like, shaking and I'm like, Jesus Christ, let's get this thing some like strength in its legs. It's like having a tough time. <laughs> also, most of the time you see chihuahuas, they're in a purse. <laughs> like you don't really see them walking. So like, I don't know if they should even be a dog. If you catch a ball at a baseball game, you shouldn't be bullied into giving it to a child. It, it, it depends. I honestly think that you should do whatever the fuck you want with that. It's, it sucks though. Here's the thing. If you show up to a baseball game and you're seated near kids, you just gotta know what the deal is. One's gonna come near you and if you grab it, you kinda have to hand it over because ESPN's got that fucking camera on you, <laughs> you know? And it's not you're gonna be like, yeah! Fuck you to a little kid. It's like his birthday and shit. And he's like crying. You kind of have to give it to him. Uh, unless you get really excited and you run away. That's an option as well. Also, if you catch like a, a milestone baseball, I will literally step on the head of a three-year-old to grab like judges fucking game uh, record breaking home run. Like, I'm sorry, kid. This one's for daddy. Cemeteries are a waste of space and everyone should be cremated or composted after death. How do you compost a dead body? You just throw it in a dumpster and let it rot? Like, isn't composting what we're doing when we're burying bodies? I feel like that's the same thing. Cremated is weird because I heard that they cremate animals in the same ovens as people. And like, obviously you're not getting all of your dust. So when you cremate a body and you get your dust, you really think there's no dust from the guy before? Like they're burning bodies every five minutes. There's definitely some fucking, you know, dust from a guy before with your grandma in there, dude. Like definitely. And there's probably a tooth of a dog. Like, let's be honest. Like my dog was cremated and we have his ashes. I'm pretty sure if I put that under a microscope, I would probably see like a lizard or something in there too. Cause I think they cremate him at the vet. And it's just like, you know, all the animals that die there, they put them in the same one. It's, it's, not, a, it's not purely your grandma in there is my point. Um, so cremation is a little weird. Composted to me is just what cemeteries are. Unless you're talking about throwing us in a little trash can in your backyard and just waiting for us to <laughs> rot into the ground, which why the fuck would you want to do that? That's disgusting. Disney is overrated and people are brainwashed into loving it more than they should. <laughs> why is it? Greg's pointing at me right now. I get shit and told that I'm a Disney adult because I like going to Universal and then going to Epcot and drinking. Like, I'm not going there to shake hands with Donald Duck and fucking try to get a kiss on the cheek from Snow White. Like, I'm not living my fantasy like that. I don't see the fucking, the tower or whatever, the, the castle and start crying. You're like, oh, this is the, you know, I, I'm not saying that. I like to go on the roller coasters. That's it. And that's, Universal isn't even in Disney. I will say though, Animal Kingdom is a lot of fun because I fuck with animals and they let the fucking monkeys run over your head and there's a bunch of bars around. So if that makes me a Disney adult, I'll take it. Also, Disney's not overrated. The, all these movies are, not all of them, but a lot of these movies are great. Dude, The Lion King. Tarzan? What are we talking about here? Toy Story? What the fuck? How is that overrated? I think that people are brainwashed into hating Disney, rightfully so. I mean, Walt, he's got some stuff. He froze his head and we should probably just thaw it out and step on it because he had some weird thoughts, honestly. Gingers are a minority group that gets mocked for how they look and nobody cares. Yes and no, because I feel like ginger men are the ones who get mocked 
And ginger women, people are like, they're so horny. Like, I think that, like, there's this, there's this thing about ginger women. It's like, oh, she's probably a freak or something. And then ginger men, they're like, Ronald Weasley, this guy's weird or something. Like, there's, like, jokes that, like, ginger has no souls or whatever the fuck. But it's just an internet meme. Like, it doesn't, it's not actually real. To me, it's the same thing with, like, Nickelback, like we mentioned earlier. I don't think that people actually dislike Nickelback. Also, you're gay if you, if you like Coldplay. Bro, Coldplay is amazing. If Coldplay makes you gay, I'm fucking gay. Now that I think about it, I just convinced myself uh, they do get mocked and nobody cares. Uh, but so do white trash people. Like I think that people who are like, yeah, like rednecks, you know, and they're like, oh, all these people, they fuck each other's like cousins and stuff. And then their kids end up with a short leg or, and like, <laughs> I don't know. The buff teenagers played by 20 year olds are incredibly detrimental to teenager self-esteem. Um. That's a hot take. I don't think that it's detrimental. I think that it's fucking weird. I mean, if you go back in the 90s and you're like, this guy's a freshman in high school, he looks 35. What the fuck is going on? Also, another bone I have to pick with the casting directors of the world. Why in sports movies are we cast continuously casting people who can't throw a football or take a fucking free throw? You can't find someone who's a decent actor to be able to throw a football. I remember in 13 Reasons Why, the Asian kid is supposed to be like this great athlete and he looks like a fucking idiot when he shoots a basketball. I'm like, dude, you're hot. Hollywood, and this is a Netflix original or whatever the fuck. You can't hire a basketball coach to have this dude fake it. He doesn't even have to make it because they're not showing the rim. We know that thing isn't going in. Don't show the rim. Just have him look good when he's doing it. You got idiots out there. He's trying to throw a football and he's like, like, what are we doing? But the buff teenagers, I don't think anyone's being like, oh my God, that's what teenagers are supposed to look like. We're all sitting there like this fucking guy's 40. Like, this is ridiculous. Stop asking me if we can switch seats on an airplane. I cannot tell you how much I agree with this. Hey man, hey, do you mind switching with my wife so she can sit next to me? I mind so hard. Also, I hope your marriage crumbles. How about that? Because of this. Recently this happened to me where someone asked me if I could switch seats so their wife could sit next to them. And I was like, okay, fine. So I switched with them. And then a, a little girl, this is a true story, who was like 11 years old. Her father was now sitting next to me in my new seat. And he's like, can you switch with the, and I was like, no. Like I just switched, I've done my deed. I'm not just going to hop around in this fucking plane until everyone else is comfortable. I'm done. So I told him no. Your fucking 11 year old daughter can go sit by herself over there and she did and that's all that happened. Also, I don't get why you need to sit next to people on, on a plane. You can't talk. We're we gonna sit there and have conversation. I've never talked to anyone on a plane ever. I sit there, I watch a movie or I fucking read a book and that's it. Like I'm not gonna have a conversation. Like why do you need to sit next to them? Anyway, but yeah, that's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that's the internet's most unpopular opinions. Some I agree with, some I don't, but it is what it is. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.